Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva for real-time collaboration on a brainstorming or mind mapping activity. Let's take a look here at canva.com and you can see here I've chosen the brainstorming templates and I'll link that up down below in the description of this video. And here I have my brainstorming template. So I just chose this one here and I opened it in a new tab and I can go in here and start editing any aspect of it that I want. Maybe I'll drag this note up here and then take this part out. And over here, I'm going to edit this not put in person one, but just say note number one or idea number one. And let's do some planning. So I start with that. And again, I can edit any part of this here. But what I'm going to do next is go to the share button and I can invite someone via email. Right, so I can send an email to Max and send out that invite. Or I can go to the share button and say they can just view that if I want to as well. So I'll send that invite. But I also have this option here to share a link to edit. Let's copy that. So we share a link to edit. Copy that, and now let's go ahead and see what it looks like when someone gets that link. So there's the link, and they'll see the option to edit the design. They can sign in with a Google account. And in this case, Mason will sign in. And now he'll be able to go in and edit things as well. And he can drag that note onto the screen. And he can start writing. Note two. My big idea is. Now, over here on the original that I created, you can see it was updated instantly and I can see that Mason was working on it because his name is featured and highlighted around the note that he's working on. Likewise, if I go back over here and start clicking on this, when he's looking at it, he'll see there's Richard working on that note. Now, not all templates in Canva support real-time collaboration yet. This is a feature that's in development. So you'll see some templates like this one here for an infographic. If I go to share this one and I copy that link and let's say I want to share it again here. If Mason goes in here, he's not going to see that I'm editing and likewise, if I'm looking at it, I don't see any indication that he's currently editing it either. So you do want to make sure that the template that you're using does support real-time collaboration. And again, that's rolling out to more and more users all the time. So that's how you can use Canva to host a real-time online brainstorming or mind mapping activity. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.